Hello everybody and welcome to this brand new year of 2019. And with this brand new year, you guessed it, here we are with another update video. I'm Nicholas Clay of Clay Entertainment and today we will be going over some goals that I have for this year as well as other things that I would like to incorporate in this channel. So why don't we stop it with the formalities and get right into it. Before we actually do get started with this update video, I just want to say that 2018 really wasn't a very productive year for the channel. I mean, sure, I had that livestream playthrough of Sonic Adventure 1, and that was some great fun, but um, in terms of animation content or just releasing stuff on the channel, it really wasn't the best. All that was really posted was a preview of Episode 1, Part 1, DX of the Life of an Inkling. And while I'm happy to see that everyone is enjoying it and looking forward to this revamp of the first part, there are some things that I need to address in regards to the Life of an Inkling status, of which I will be going into detail momentarily. Now I know that you're all wondering what the status is of the series and everything, but I need to make some small changes here and there in order to make the progression of the series more understandable. Because when I look in the comment section and when I talk with peers, the next question that I hear is usually when the next episode of the series will be out instead of when the next part of the episode will be out. And I can understand the confusion of episodes versus parts of episodes, so that is why I came up with a solution to make things a little bit more easier to understand. So instead of there being episodes with multiple parts to them, there will now be volumes that will have different chapters. The way that this is going to get structured is relatively the same as it is structured now, but I'm basically naming things differently to make it easier to understand. This is somewhat inspired by the Rooster Teeth series known as Ruby, because of the way that series is structured, it has volumes with multiple chapters. Except each volume with that is basically an arc of the entire story. Almost kind of like seasons in a way. So what does this mean for the life of an inkling? Well, there are going to be two arcs for this one season that are going to be split up into six different volumes. Most of which are going to have three chapters apiece. The sole exception of this being episode one, or as it is now going to be called, volume one. Volume one is now going to end up having only two chapters, but the remaining volumes after volume one will have three chapters instead of two. In summary, instead of each individual episode having three separate parts, it will now be volumes that will have three separate chapters. So instead of wondering when the next episode, or rather, the next part of an episode will be released in the series, you can all ask when the next chapter of the series will be released. So I hope this change in the story progression makes more sense than parts of episodes. And at the very least, I hope that this concept is a lot easier to grasp and understand. In terms of everything else that's related to the series, all I ask is again, your patience and cooperation. Animation is very long and tedious. I don't know how many times I've said that at this point, but I should not have to stress the amount of time and effort that gets put into these things. It's, it's a lot. So again, I hope you all look forward to what I have in store. Moving on to our next topic, I wanted to discuss a project that I've been working on behind the scenes while at the same time working on the life of an inkling. Now I've teased this both on my Twitter and DeviantArt page as well as the community tab on my channel, but this side project that I'll be working on is called Sonic Next Gen Plot Revision, originally called Sonic 06 Storyline Rework. And I swear to god that original title is horrible and I don't understand why I did that in the first place. Anyway! The general idea for this project is to take the original story of Sonic 06 and make it feel more like a Sonic type of story. For those of you that don't know at this point, and I'm probably guessing only two of you, Sonic 06's story is a mess. There's no mincing words about it, it is a complete mess on top of the mess of a game that it already was. So what this project aims to do is, again, taking the original story but slightly altering it so that it's easier to understand and more entertaining. The original concept and the original story will still be intact, but I'm just going to be slightly altering some things, so that way it can be considered better in some form or fashion. Now this project is still in a very early work in progress state, so don't expect anything major to be coming out of it. Another plan that I have for this project is that I'm going to take the cutscenes and reanimate them. Now at this point I'm not sure what software I would like to use. Right now I'm sticking with Source Filmmaker, but I have been dabbling in Blender a little bit, and I've been considering switching over to that. I'm not entirely sure which way I want to go in terms of software at the moment, but I know at some point I'm going to have to make the decision. Once again, don't expect anything major to come out of this like any of the reanimated cutscenes or any showings of the rewritten story. What you can probably expect though is some concept images and maybe some character renders, because another thing that I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be taking the generations models 
and slightly altering their proportions and textures to make them look more like their appearances in Sonic 06. I'm trying to stick to the original game as I possibly can while still trying to put a new spin on things so that way everything still feels a little fresh. Other than that, there's nothing else that can be said about this project. More details on this project will more than likely be released as time goes on. Just don't expect anything major to come out at this point. This is a side project for a reason. A majority of my attention and drive is directed towards the life of an inkling at the moment, and I'd rather focus on getting the majority of that finished before moving on to a side project. I just wanted to officially announce that I'm working on this project so that way you all can look out for it when information starts getting released. The next thing that I wanted to discuss was the status of live streaming. Now I know that last year I made a poll asking which game I should tackle next on stream, and Life is Strange ended up being the winner. Unfortunately, after doing some recent recording tests, this laptop that I'm using to do everything does not have the best processing power in order to do that. So until I get an upgrade, I will not be able to stream Life is Strange. However, live streaming is something I would like to get back into doing on a more consistent basis. With that said, I was able to find a few games that I'm able to stream at the moment, and I'm proud to announce that the next livestream playthrough, or playthrough in this case, is going to be Sonic Adventure 2. This playthrough will be happening on Saturdays from 10am to 11pm Pacific Standard Time, starting this Saturday, January 19th, 2019. And of course, I'm going to have my good buddy Gumshoe Gamer, or Ethan, joining me along for the festivities and everything, so I hope to see you all then and there. And just to reiterate, that is Saturdays at 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, starting this Saturday, January 19th, 2019. So I hope to see you all then and there, and if you join the stream, there might be an extra special surprise. I'm not going to tell you what, you're just going to have to tune in to find out. Now live streaming isn't the only additional thing that I want to incorporate into this channel. There are other things that I like doing other than making animations and artwork. So some other things that I would like to incorporate into this channel are related to voice acting. I've been imitating character voices and telling stories since I was a little kid. And as I've gotten older, my range of both impressions and different voices has drastically expanded. I'm not entirely sure where I want to go with this stuff just yet, but I'm thinking about making some voice acting demos as well as doing some dubs. These can range from anything from fan content to original stuff, Back in my older content, and even in some of my newer content, I've provided voices to characters, and while my performances might not have been the greatest, I still have fun doing it because I just like being goofy and crazy when it comes to imitating character voices, or just coming up with something just out of the blue. So I hope you're all interested in this new form of content that I would like to introduce to this channel, and we shall see where things go from here. Alright, so this is the part where I'm mostly going to go off script and trying something different here, so bear with me. Um, but I really just want to thank you all for tuning in to watching my content and it's it's crazy for me to know that there are almost 15,000 people out there that watch my content. It's, it's absolutely mind-blowing. If you were to tell younger me that there was going to be almost 15,000 people watching you, I would tell you that you're crazy. <laughs> if I'm going to be absolutely honest. But um... It really shows how far I've grown as a content creator, and I know that this is not going to be the end of my time on YouTube, at least for the time being, but I really do appreciate you all taking the time out of your busy schedules to sit down and watch whatever it is that I put out there. So from the bottom of my heart, I really want to thank you all, and I'm really surprised that A Life of an Inkling, Episode 1, Part 1 DX, well, okay, at this point, it's probably at... <laughs> It's probably going to be called The Life of an Inkling Chapter 1 at this point. I'm really surprised that that has already reached 5.5k views at the time of this recording. I mean, at this point, it's probably already past it, so again, that, that just shows how outdated this recording is going to be <laughs> and give it some time. But I seriously want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart because this really does mean a lot to me. And I don't really make this stuff because I want to be popular or anything. This is really the kind of stuff that I am the most passionate about. To put it simply, that's just the stuff that I love doing. It's not out of popularity, it's not out of wanting to... Okay, maybe part of it is to be successful, but when it really comes down to it, it's something that I love doing, and it's something that I'm glad that you all enjoy watching. So I think that's going to wrap it up for this update. Again, I know that last year really wasn't as productive as previous years, but this year, I want to try to right the wrongs and 
be more active on this channel as much as I possibly can, while still attending to my real life priorities and such, college, family, etc, etc. But I believe that's going to wrap it up for this update. Once again, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I've been Nicholas Clay of Clay Entertainment. I want you all to enjoy your life and take it easy. See you all later.